Hi, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, good evening my dear you? teacher. Hi. How's everybody today? Wow, we have full house today. Rocio. Hi, Rocio. Hi. <laughs> Usted volvió a oír el refrit de la, de la conferencia de, ¿cómo se llama? <risa> Por eso me faltó dos días, ¿qué me le pasó? Oh, ah, no. Ay, no, ay, no, ay, no. Jennifer, ay, también la veo, very nice. Bueno, no la veo, pero está ahí. <risa> All right, very good, guys. So, today is the very last class of this week. I know you will miss me on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but that's life, all right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're going to see me again on Monday. Don't worry about it, all right? Uh, today, we're going to keep on talking a little bit about would rather, I would prefer that we were talking about yesterday, all right? But we're just going to review it quickly, and then we're going to move on, all right? So uh, I'm going to show you this. Just give me a second. Just give me one second, please. Hold on. Ayer me desvelé esperando la presentación. Elmer me hubiera escrito. <risa> no, pero hoy le voy a mandar esta que está mejor porque es que la otra tiene muchas cosas, el Mercito. Lo hice a propósito para que me Yo reclamara en público. Ok. Espérenme, déjenme. Ya está. Ya está. Espérenme, se dice. Whatever. <risa> ya lo voy a corregir en inglés, Elmer. Espérenme. Espérenme. Del verbo operar. All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys, but I wanted to get something fixed first. Okay, so we're gonna go, I'm gonna share with you the platform right now because I wanna go over this. Wow. I just finished the other class, I'm sorry, and this is like a messy right now. Okay, there you go. Here you go. For the people that were not with me yesterday in class, this is what we studied yesterday. We're going to go over quickly and then we're going to go with the platform. Okay, so this is what we did um, yesterday. I would rather and I would prefer. All right, so I'm not going to, you're not going to see this right now because that's like extra info. My internet's quite slow today. There you go. We're getting there. <laughs> okay, this is it. Okay, would prefer and would rather. Okay, Eric, can you read that for me, please? We use. Yeah. We use the model expression would prefer and would rather to talk about our preference in English. All right. Next one. Yes, please. These two expressions mean the same thing and are synonyms. Synonyms? Synonyms for the verb prefer. Prefer, all right, very good. Uh, would rather takes the base form of the verb like we were talking about yesterday. Uh, Flor, can you read would you rather? Okay, uh, would, would you rather take singing or acting class? Okay, would you rather take singing or acting classes? Very good, Elmer, can you read the other one? I rather I rather take rather I rather I re rather take singing class. Very good classes. Very good. And the other one, Eli, can you read it? Eli, Eli. 
No, all right, Magdiel. Can you, yeah, all right. Uh, Ellie, can you read the, the third one? And Magdiel, you read the last one, please. Okay. I'd rather take another course than a study singing. All right, and the last one, Magdiel? Okay, I'd rather not take either. All right, very good. So here we're talking about the same thing that we did yesterday. I just wanted to show you this just to refresh and to review in case you were wondering, okay? If you had the opportunity to work overseas, would you rather work in USA or Canada? All right, so we have the answers. Francisco, can you read number one? I'd rather. I'd rather work in USA. Uh-huh, the, the second one. I'd rather work in another country. All right, and the last one. I'd rather not work either. All right, very good. So if you notice for Rocio and Jenny that were not in class yesterday and some other people that were not in class, we're talking about would rather or would prefer. The difference is in meaning, there's none. There's no difference. In usage, yes, because you have to use rather with the base form of the verb. So in this case, we have rather work. And if you use prefer, you would have to use infinitive, okay? Prefer to work, all right? That's the big difference. But in meaning, it's the same. Would you rather go to Cancun or Acapulco on vacation? Uh, Rocio, can you read all the answers, please? Okay. I'd rather go to Cancun. Mm -hmm. I'd rather go to Puerto Vallarta is better. All right. I'd rather not go to the beach. Mm -hmm. I'd rather go camping. Very good, all right. So again, you notice we're using rather, and right after rather, we have the verb. They're talking about go, all right? Would prefer usually takes an infinitive. Williams, can you read the answers? If you won the lottery, would you prefer to live in Monterrey or in Tehran? Yeah, I prefer to live in Tehran. It's more relaxing. I prefer to live in another place. I prefer not to live either. All right, very good. So in this case, Rocio, if you notice, and Jennifer, if you notice now we're using prepare and you have to, and then the verb. So you have the infinitive, I prefer to leave, all right? Or any other verb that you may be using, all right? Let's see, uh, David, I want you to answer these questions. Would you prefer to study film or crime? The choices? Okay. Uh, I prefer to study film in less stressful. Okay. And I prefer to study another subject. And I prefer not to study either. Mm -hmm. I don't like them. Okay. So if you notice, we're talking, we're using prefer and then we follow the infinitive with to and then study. All right. So that's the big difference, Rocio. I don't know, or Jennifer, if you have any questions about that or you're okay with it. No question, teacher. No question. Okay, very good. Okay, so here we have, let's see. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, eh, no, let's see, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you were not in class yesterday either, were you? Elizabeth Del Carmen. What did you say, teacher? You were not in class yesterday, right? No, teacher. I was missing. All right, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, Magdiel, could you, like, I'm going to ask you this question. Would you prefer to eat Italian food or Chinese food? I, I did rather travel in Italy. Say it again. I did rather travel in. I would, I would rather. You would rather, no, hold, hold on. I was asking number one. Would you prefer to eat Italian food or Chinese food? I prefer. Would rather. I prefer. I prefer, I prefer to eat Italian food. Chinese food. All right, Chinese food, guys. All right, so would you prefer to eat uh, Chinese food? Let's see, for everybody that wants to answer, would you rather travel to India or China? I, Anybody? I, I, 
I'd rather to travel. I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather, travel. I'd rather to travel. Or I'd rather travel. No, 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 no. I'd rather travel. <laughs> All right. I'd rather travel. Right. I'd rather travel. Travel to China. <laughs> to China or to India. Who wants to go to India? All right. <laughs> All right. That's okay. Very good. Would yeah. you prefer? This is for everybody. Would you prefer to work five to eight hours per day or four to ten hours per day? I prefer, I prefer to work, work five, work. To five to eight hours. Five to eight hours. Five to eight hours? Yeah, okay. Very good. Would you rather have a cat, a dog, or a mouse? Yeah. Uh, I, I would rather, rather have, have, rather have, have a, a cat, cat and dog. <laughs> I'd rather have a dog. Not a mouse. All right. A dog. <laughs> a dog, yeah. Williams, what about you? A cat, a dog, or a mouse? I'd rather not. Uh, any, nah. Yeah, you don't like any, all right. Uh, like no, Jen, no, in no, your no. case? No. Okay, like this in my case, I, I'd okay. rather uh -huh. have a, a dog. All right, Eric, what about you? I have a mouse. Ah, oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you want to see it? No. My yeah, dear yeah. teacher. Oh, this come is on, Eric. <laughs> 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 all right, yes, Elmer? I have a question about the, when I, I talk about she, he, he and she uh -huh. with Ray, rather, rather. Yes. Uh, if I, I say, would he rather have or has? Has. Has with no, no, a. No, have, have, have. have. Yes. Is, is el, la base del verbo, independientemente sea acuérdese, tercera persona. Exacto, porque acuérdese que el word ya es, eh, ¿cómo se llaman? Auxiliar. No, no, it's not really auxiliary, but it's a, el could, would, should, ¿cómo se llaman estos? Niños, ayúdenme. Model verbs. Model verbs, thank you, oh, yes. <laughs> so, when you have a model verb in that way, you don't have to modify the verb. Uh, anyway. Ah, ok. Yeah. Okay. Thank so, you. So, for example, you say William uh, would rather have a cat, mm -hmm. all right? Or um, Magdiel would rather travel to China. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when you travel, use uh, a gerunds uh -huh. in preferred, always, uh, always, uh, I have to uh, preposition to the to talking to. To talk, uh -huh. siempre va a ir antes el tú. Cuando estoy usando prefer. Ajá, uh -huh. I prefer. ¿Qué? Okay. Sí, vea. Va, si yo uso prefer, ¿Sí? siempre, aunque use gerundio o no use, o, o, o el verbo base, siempre va a ir el tú. No, no si va gerundio, no. Si va gerundio, no. Ah, ok. Excellent, todos saltan, me gusta. Very good. All right, that's that you guys are paying attention. Very no, y sabe, y sabe por qué le preguntaba eso, teacher. A Porque ver. con la con la presentación que, que nos mandó ayer. Ajá, sí, claro. me, me permite compartir la pantalla, si es tan amable. Of course, be my guest. ¿Y cuál presentación tienes? Yo no le mandé nada. <risa> Permítame compartírsela. Ya, ya, ya. Ya, 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 ya se la voy a traer. Another group. Yeah, he's probably in another group. No, no, permítame compartírsela. No puedo porque usted la está. No, es que es que en el, en el gráfico, teacher, Ajá. en el gráfico de su presentación está sí. un, un tú. Aquí, mire. Solo se la muestro así rapidito. Hurry up. En el, graphic, en el gráfico, en este, sí. I never take the bus. Ajá. I prefer to work or Ajá. to working. No. Mm. no. I no. prefer to walk. I prefer to walk. I prefer walking. Ah, ok. <laughs> Eso es lo que yo pregunté ayer. Ajá. Sí, ya ya ve, ve, ya ve. Pero en este caso, you can choose Ajá. only one. Ajá. Walk, Esta es la presentación walk, que envié ayer. Walking. That's right, yes. Vaya bien, compañeros, que se manden la presentación. Mándela usted el mercito, no sea así. Yo por eso siempre le tomo captura, aunque diga que la va a mandar. Vaya cosa. No, pues ahora es como que ataquen a la teacher, ya me voy. 
Están believing you. Pero me quieren, yo sé que me quieren, vaya. All right. Y si no, pues me aguantan al menos. Very good. No, teacher, si la queremos y por eso siempre estamos pendientes que sea usted la que nos va a dar el curso. It's at least, true. at least Nayib Bukele is talking. <laughs> let's go. <on. laughs> yeah, very good. Okay, let's see. Now, this is what we're studying today. Hey, ¿por qué no se ve esto? All right, this is it. Okay, so the new topic, guys, today, the, the, before the prefer and rather was yesterday's topic. We're on section three. So today we need to finish this one. Is by plus gerund to describe how how to do things, okay? So this, this is the new topic for tonight. By plus gerund to describe how to do things. We're gonna stop this right here. I'm gonna take you to the platform. We're gonna listen to the conversation that is there. And while you're listening, I want you to identify where they use to plus gerund within the conversation. So right now I'm gonna stop sharing this. All right, I'm gonna take you right now to the platform. Hold on, just give me a second. Whoa, here it is. All right, so we're gonna listen and please try to identify where they're used by plus gerund, okay? So I'm gonna play the audio so you can listen to it. And it's right there, okay? Después vamos a ver quién la lee. By listening to language series. Oh, hold on. That's a while to get it right. Hold on. But I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Qué barbaridad. Uy, eso no. That's so, okay. how's the French class going? <laughs> Not bad, <laughs> but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, it takes a while to get it right. You could improve your accent by listening to language series. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Hmm, maybe I should try something like that. All right, so here's the conversation, all right? So we have two people talking, and I want you to tell me where they are using by plus gerund. Just read the phrase, don't read the whole thing. Where is it, guys? Here in the conversation. They're like a couple. Uh, by listening? By listening to <clears throat> language CDs. Yes, by listening to language CDs is one. Is there another one? By, by writing them. them. By writing them. By writing them on pieces of paper. Uh huh. Is there anything else? No, right? Okay. No. So, no. what they are telling you here is how to do things. All right. How are we going to be able to express how to do things is by using by gerund. All right. So, by listening to language CDs, by speaking a lot, by participating in class by not missing classes, all right? Those things will help you improve how to learn better English, all right? For example, so we're using by plus gerund, okay? Again, I'm just gonna stop sharing this. I don't wanna play the whole thing because you guys do that on your own, you're supposed to, all right? But I just wanna show you the other part here, which is the grammar part that is here on the, um, on the platform so we can like go over it. Hold on, hold on, just give me a second. I don't know if you guys are listening, but you're not looking anyway. All right, here you go, here. This is where I wanna take you, and then we're gonna go back to the presentation. Here they are talking about this, by plus gerund things, okay? So number one, it says you could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. I learn, I learn new words best by writing them on pieces of paper. The best way to learn slangs is not by reading newspapers, but by watching movies. So if you want to describe how to do things, then you need to use by plus gerund, all right? That's the here, yeah? 
You understand that, guys? Yes? No? So so? Yes. 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 <laughs> All right. Just give me a second here. Hold on. There you go. That's, I want to show you this one here. Here. This is the other part that I want you to see. I know you can do this on your own, but I just want to walk you through it so you understand it a little better. So we have uh, three uses of using by plus zero. Number one is to say how something can be done. All right? So you can improve your English by doing a lot of reading. Number two, describe how something was done in the past. I learned a lot of idioms by watching TV. And number three, to describe how something could be done, all right? One way of becoming fluent is by talking a lot in class. Now, if you take a look at these three, three uses, they are describing how to do something, all right? Either in the past or not, but they are describing how to do things. So when you describe how to do things, you need to use by plus gerund, all right? So you, don't, you cannot get lost there, okay? So here we have this. Uh, where's my presentation? Where did it go? Here. So here we have this right here. This is where we were before. So we use, we use by plus gerund to say how something can happen or can be done. You could improve your English by listening and watching videos, all right? Then we have one way. Can you read it? Um, someone can read this for me here. One volunteer. Me? Yes, okay. Me? Yes, go ahead. One way, one way to learn driving is by asking. By asking? A by asking. Uh -huh. borrow, ask, yes, asking, asking a friend to borrow to his her car. All right, very good. Another volunteer to read the next one. Okay. Me. Okay. Go ahead. The best way to improve your skills in computer is by getting used with the program. All right, very good. Let's look at the other one. Uh huh. We use by plus gerund to describe how something was done. The same thing that is on the platform. All right. Another volunteer to read it. Volunteer Cecilia, Diego, Francisco, David. Me. Uh -huh. Me, teacher. We use by plus gerund to describe how something was done. All right, okay. Uh -huh. I lost weight by doing exercise every morning. I lost weight by doing exercise every morning. Magdiel, can you read the other one, please? Okay, teacher. Um, I got a lot of friends at college by being my by being by being sorry by being myself and spending time with them. Very good. David Rivas, can you read the next one? Okay. I finished high school by working hard and listening to my teacher. Excellent. Very good. Next one. All right. Uh let's see. Uh, Jose Ramos. Okay, we use by by plus gerund to describe how something can be done. Mm -hmm. Could be done. One way, one way to become fluent is by talking to a lot in class. All right. Next one. I'm excellent, Elmer. I'm excellent at a sport by pra practicing every day at a school. All right, very good. Cecilia, can you read the other one? I finished. Okay, I finished my book, my book by reading every night before sleep. Sleep. Sleeping. 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 You should say sleeping. sleeping. I'm sorry, sleeping. Yeah. Sleeping. Sleeping. Very good. All right, so here we go. Do you understand what we're talking about, guys? Yes. No. So so. Yes. Okay. So so. So so who said so so? Teacher, yes. by we use uh, always uh, gerund. Yes, when you talk, when you're describing how to do things, yes. Okay. All right. So if I ask you, oh, so how did you learn English? And you say, oh, I learned English by 
doing classes with the teacher, all right? Or I learned English by traveling to uh, an English speaking country, all right? Or I say, oh, how do you dance so well? Oh, by taking dancing classes, all right? So you tell me, remember that that's why on the platform, as well as here on this presentation, they talk about how things like they were done in the past somehow, all right? And also like, how can I do to improve, for example, yeah? So whenever you are describing how to do things, then you have to use by plus gerund. Yeah? Teacher, I have a question. Yes, Elizabeth. Can you explain me about when we use good, is the same the meaning good with rather is the same? When, when I say I good travel, to Europe. To Europe. I Europe. I did rather Europe is the same meaning. No, I mean when you say I would rather, then you're saying that you prefer something. If you say I would go to Europe, that's a different story. I mean you're not giving me choices here. You're not talking about a preference. You're just saying I would go. That's a possibility. If but if you say, I would say, rather go to Europe, then you say uh -huh. that you prefer to go. You're talking about preferences, not about possibilities. Ah, it's not exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's why you have to combine would rather or would prefer. Okay? Thanks. All right, very good. Okay. So very dear teacher. Hola. I have a question about that. that by by Jerun. Uh -huh. no, no sé si le comprendo. Una, una cosa es como decir cómo puedo hacerlo. Sí. Otro es cómo lo hice, o sea, qué, qué sucedió para hacerlo, es algo uh -huh. pasado. Uh -huh. El primero es como dar un consejo, el segundo es como de, eh, lo que dice usted, describir el, la situación. Exacto. Y el último, ahí sí me... me ¿Cómo podría? ¿Cómo podría? Pero eso ya, ya, ya es como la primera. Y ¿Sí? es ahí mi confusión. O sí. sea, la primera prácticamente es la, la última. Una, véala como, la primera es como la posibilidad, ¿verdad? I can, Ajá. how can I learn Yo English? podría. Po poder. Ajá. Ajá. Y la otra es I could, pero podría de haberlo hecho. Como, como la regaste, compadre. <laughs> you could have. Ajá. All right. Ah, ok. Como pasado también. Yeah. Uh -huh. Como That's cuando right. estoy describiendo. Más okay. o menos. So, so. That's right, yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. You're a very good student, El Mercito, cuando quiere. All right, I want you to see these guys right here. I want you to take a picture. Can you take a picture of this right now? Yes. Yes, I can see. Right. Can you guys see? No. Yes. Uh, five plus zero to describe how to do things. You can develop solar and five. How different people see Ah, we have to complete the same. All right, did you take the picture already? Yes. I want you to take yes. the picture. Okay, yes. so we're finished. All right. So what I want you to do is I want you to do, I want you to go to your groups and fill in the, the spaces. All right. I want you to work on the exercise together. For example, if I'm working with Williams, then we do it together. All right. Now, what I want you to do, I'm just going to share with you again because I want to see something. I want to, it says, um, here the exercise says, you can develop tolerance by, and then they give you the verb already, so you don't have to think, all right, by right. trying to understand blah, 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 all right, and then you have number two, number three, four, five, six, and seven. When you finish those seven, I want you to think of other things related to the same thing. For example, number one, think of another way to develop tolerance. You can develop tolerance by... I don't know. And then you come up with something else with your partner. 
una es la que ya está given y la otra es la que usted va a hacer. Siempre es basada en la tolerancia, pero ¿cómo puede de desarrollar usted la tolerancia? You understand? So one yes. is already given, yes. the other one you have to create it. Yes? So give me more choices here. And then you have to do the same thing for number two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So you have to create your own, all right? So I'm going to send you right now to your groups. Okay? So you can start working. Okay.
this part. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Number are you guys working on right now? Yeah, I'm working in the sent in the four to sentence. Okay. But I had I had a question. Mm -hmm. uh, I not comprehend uh, uh -huh. how to, for example, in the sentence three mm -hmm. is using not. Is the same not by Whoa. gerund? Hold on, I don't know what I did. Let me check. Oh no. Let's see. You you can develop self confidence, not by. Uh, you same? can develop self confidence, for example, not by um, being shy or, or or not by showing your weaknesses, but identifying your strength, for example. But we can use gerund. Yeah, mm -hmm, because you're yes. using by. Uh, Okay. If, it, if it's negative, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, All right, okay. the rule is the same. The structure is the same. Mm -hmm. the same. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. I'm confusing. Yeah, no, that's, that's okay. <laughs> right? No, no problem. Okay. Very good. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, the second one is called Shield Roller. By giving up. Giving up. But giving up, but... Continue. 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 No, I don't know. <laughs> Where are you guys? Do Which know. number are you working on, Magdalena and Anna? And yes, our seven. Seven. But we have. But yes. we have. The, we have but, to confuse in the in the seven sentence. All right. Yeah. What happened? Okay. Um, Mm, no sabemos si tenemos que usar los ambos verbos en with the, with the, Sí, claro que sí. Uh -huh. or, yeah, I'm um, so, I'm going to share my screen right now for a second. I'm going to stop sharing yours. Okay. okay. I just want to show you something. Uh when you talk if you notice for example here, you can develop uh perseverance not by giving up, but yeah. continuing to do an activity even after you fail. You can do two things. You can say by not, not by giving up, but by continuing, or you can omit the second by. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. mm -hmm. okay. Right. Usually we omit the second by porque es como que va inherente, como que va implícito ya, ¿no? Porque ya lo usamos okay. anteriormente. Pero si a usted le cabe duda y dice, ¿será? Oígalo como soy usando el by y si le pega tendría que ir gerundio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Okay. In, in conclusion, we mm -hmm. eh, siempre cuando usemos el gerundio, mm -hmm. los verbos van a ir en la forma del ing. Sí. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Siempre. Thank you. Siempre, siempre okay. que vaya acompañado del by, ¿verdad? Porque well, estamos bye. explicando el cómo hacer algo o cómo pudo hacer algo o cómo pude hacer algo, ¿verdad? Okay. Entonces, en este caso es um, you can develop creativity by learning to draw or paint. Si oye feo, si yo le digo you can develop creativity by learn. No me pega. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Siempre yeah. que va el by, necesito gerundio. Mm -hmm. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok, fine. All right. Ok. okay. okay. All right, I'm going to stop sharing my screen so you can keep on working together, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. You guys are doing okay? By right. Yeah, but I have another question. Yes. Yeah. Is possible, uh, for example, uh, I have an example. Yes. Uh, you can develop tolerance is by. Is possible? You can use the verb to be. Where are you, Manuel? I'm sorry. Which number? Tolerance? No, 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 no. It's an it's example about, about uh, personal. Uh huh. 
it's an idea. I don't know. Yes, tell me your idea uh, again. I'm sorry. Okay. We can use the verb to be before the by. For ex uh, example, mm -hmm. uh, Oh, for example, you can develop tolerance is by. No. 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 It's a mistake. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember, it's... remember, Manuel, that this is not present continuous. All right. It's gerund. Yeah, yeah. Present continuous is the one that we use with the verb to be. But in this case, gerund is different. Gerund is like a name. Oh. All right, yeah. that's why we don't conjugate it with the verb be. I say, uh, for example, swimming, or I rather, I don't know, I rather swimming than dancing. Okay. Si yo lo traduzco, no lo traduzco, prefiero bailando que nadando. Yeah. Prefiero nadar o prefiero bailar mm. que nadar. Que bailar. Yeah. So it's a yeah. gerund. Don't, I mean, that's why sometimes we get confused with gerunds and the... Uh, Present continuous, the present continuous, yes, you say, I am writing, I am dancing, all right? Or yeah. I am good at dancing, all right? So it's like, so you have to, you have to tell the difference between a gerund and the present continuous. In this case, it's gerund. So in this case, we're not gonna use the verb be. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. thank you. That is uh, in the meter, I uh -huh. had a, we had a part of, ah. about the, yeah, and I had a little confused in this part. All yeah, right, I had yeah. some problems. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right. So you know that now you don't need to use the verb be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you notice in none of these sentences, we're using it. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. I, that is why I, I asked because in mm -hmm. the section, I don't know, remember, is for okay. the meter. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I think section for the meter. Uh, the second part is related to the gerunds mm -hmm. and uh, the sentence that uh, the given is uh, in the verb is. Okay. And yeah, that is, I confused. Ah, okay, all right, yeah. yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, okay. thank you. You're very welcome. Are you finished? Uh, no. no? Oh, okay, I... okay. Keep on working. I need to go check in other groups, okay? Hi, Eric. Hi, Flor. Are you guys Hi. Finished? Hi, teacher. Yeah. yeah, you're finished? No. Not yet. No Maybe. yet. Not All right. Yet. That's Not okay. <laughs> but <laughs> almost. Excellent. Almost. What, what number are you guys working on? Number four. Okay. Okay, our break. Mm. And number four, uh, another way to learn to be cooperative is maybe by helping people. Yes. Yeah, sure. Okay. Number five. Are you there? Me? Yeah. Yes, I was just, I'm sorry, I was just reading, I was just reading the sentences. <laughs> ah, you I are just, spying. No, 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 I'm just going over the <laughs> sentences I'm thinking, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> no, no, don't worry, that I like it because you are um, watching if, if we are working. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. No, that, that's nice. And number five. Right. Mm -hmm. This is here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. No nos podemos quedar con esto solo. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Qué está hablando él? El... ¿Ah? No, de que, de que sí es bueno, pero tenemos que buscar sustento adicional. Ah, con... claro. Ajá, porque la base está dada, pero, pero, pero sí. Pero hay mucho más. Sí, hay mucho más, ajá, hay mucho más. Sí. Uh -huh. 
Entonces, de alguna manera, hay que, hay que ponernos al, al nivel de las presenciales. Sí. Uh -huh, ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Así es. Mire, está dando buenos consejos ahora, Elmer. No, sí, ahí está dando piludo. <risa> y aprendí de él. Oh, very good. Ay, no, por favor, Williams, no. <risa> My dear teacher, Pero aquí están, la, aquí están las, las oraciones para ver, que ya no me esté haciendo bullying. Ay, casi el que usted me hace bullying. Usted a mí. Ajá, a ver. Mm -hmm. You can develop tolerance by trying to understand how different people think and act. You can develop tolerance by teaching people. Yeah, like me. <risa> Children learn courtesy sí. by dealing with their teachers and other adults. Children learn courtesy by showing with ex by showing with examples or by learning with examples. Examples. Uh -huh. By learning or by showing. 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 O sea, los niños demuestran los ejemplos. Oh, I don't know. No. By learning, I think. By learning. Or by, or by looking the, at the examples. Adult, the, the adults showing. Yeah, okay. Looking. So, uh -huh. yeah. By looking at examples. By looking. Okay. All right, very good. Or meet with. Yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. at, 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 at examples. At. Right. You can develop self-confidence not by identifying your weaknesses, but by identifying your strengths. Very good. You can develop self-confidence by training your mind mm -hmm. by you omit the by perdón teacher me perdón, tiene usted teacher. ahí ahí me pongo nervioso ¿no? ay sí whatever ajá you can learn to, lo mismo le decía a la otra maestra que tenía william no se preocupe you can learn to, to be cooperative by participating in team sports. You can learn to be cooperative by sharing work with others. ¿Y ¿Esa las hizo William o usted, Elmer? Pues todas las hizo William, teacher. Yo no hago nada, como usted dice. <laughs> Está en resentido. You can pues develop sí. creativity by learning to draw or paint. You can develop creativity by creating computer Compet resentido, dice, no, si así sí, me dice todo siempre. You can develop persever uh, perseverance not by giving up, but to do. Uh, 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 uh. ¿Qué pasó con la seven? Number seven. You can develop perseverance not by giving up, but by doing, or by doing an activity even after you fall. En esta. Sí. Los dos Doing. verbos van con gerundio. By two. But you can, yeah, you can say by, but by doing, or quítale el tú. Two. Okay. But by doing. Uh -huh. Very good. You can develop perseverance by trying. <laughs> si somos cosas serias, Batiche. You can develop perseverance by trying. Trying by trying to get your goals. Trying uh -huh. to get. Ahí se sería trying to get. By trying, ya se le un de ahí. El otro verbo ya va con, con infinitive. Entonces, ¿en qué estamos? Pues le pongo o no le lo pongo. No, ay, sí, hijo, porque en el otro, ay, que no le digo, pues. En el trying está bien porque tiene que ir gerundio, pero ya cumplió esa regla y a lo demás tiene que ir otra vez así como con como lo que le corresponde, señor. Y no me hable así. No, yo no le hablo. Usted me está diciendo así no es. Y después no. me dice que así Ay, es. Ay, no, usted es. me escucha. Ya me voy. Uy, salud. Gracias, teacher. Gracias. Gracias, gracias. Bye. Bye, thanks. You're welcome. No, Hello. Hello. Sorry. Hello. Sorry. All right. Number, thank you. Number one, you can develop tolerance by what? By listening to the same. 
by by trying in this case or by listening all right by trying or by listening all right very good number two children learn courtesy by dealing dealing with their teachers and other adults or another possibility how can children learn courtesy by what practicing teaching by practicing with Okay, by practicing, very good. Another verb that you can think of? Greeting. Learning. Greeting. Learning. Oh, learning. learning. Greeting. Yes, very good, okay. Taking a training. <laughs> very good, yes. Number three, you can develop self-confidence, self not by? Identifying. Identifying, Identifying your weaknesses. Uh-huh. But, but, but identify, identifying by, your by showing strength. strength. Okay, sure, very good. Number four, you can learn. Uh, you can learn to be cooperative by participating, participating in teams, in team okay. sport, or joining by joining. Sure, okay, or anything else, right? Helping others. Excellent, by helping others. Very good. All right, five, you can develop creativity by, by learning. What? learning to draw or paint um, or, or paint. how else? How can you develop creativity, Eric? How can uh, you develop creativity by what? By writing. By writing, Later. sure. By reading Later. also. By yeah. Reading, yeah. Yeah. All right. Very good. Okay. All right. What about number two? What do you have for that one? By what? What number? Number six. Anybody? Number six. You can learn competitive. You can learn competitive. By what? Participating. By participating or joining. Very Working good. up. All right. By working, working out. Working out. Very good, nice. And the last one, you can develop perseverance, not by giving up, giving but by up. continuing to do an activity even after you fail, or another way to develop perseverance. What is it, guys? Not by being by, constant in your work. By, yes, by being constant. Yes, I'm sorry, by what? Efforting. Okay, yes, all right, very good. Okay, by making like effort all the time, very good by not giving up not by giving up also very okay. good all right all right guys very good uh josecito the other jose is not in class today he's always telling me it's time <laughs> mm -hmm. all right anyway guys so it's time to go thank you so much for being with me the whole week for the ones that were with me the whole week all right because some of you were not but that's okay Anyway, I know it's also important. So thank you so much for being with me. Please work on the platform. You have the weekend. You're not gonna see me tomorrow. You're not gonna see me Saturday or Sunday, but we're back on Monday, all right? Guys, we already finished second week, all right? And time flies, all right? We have two more weeks and we're done, okay? So um, I don't know if you guys received an email today about like the next registration. Level. Level. No. All right, no. like you're, you're going to no, be yes, getting it yes, soon, teacher. all right? Huh? Yes, teacher, I received. Got it. Okay, very yes. good. I guess most of you are going to be getting it, like, soon these days. So make sure that as soon as you get it, you start, like, making the registration process so you can be enrolled on the next course, okay? But you have to finish the platform first, okay? Every course, every course we need to be enrolled. Yes, you need to enroll every course. Yes, you need to do the process again and again. And it's because of InstaFORP requires that from you. Okay? Okay, teacher. All right, very good. So have a very good weekend. Please stay home if you don't have to go out. And in case you go out, please wash your hands and put your masks and everything and be safe, okay? No van okay, a andar saliendo cuando no les toca. Si no es del centro de cuarentena, no me van a tener que tener la <laughs> Thank you for the <laughs> presentation, teacher. <laughs> You're welcome, El Mercito. Yo la voy a montar. Yeah. Anyway, have a question. Yes, Jennifer, what happened? Eh, las clases de YouTube no me han estado apareciendo, las están subiendo. Todas las subo. De, de hecho, me desvelo, aunque El Mer no lo crea. Para que subirla desde la noche. Bueno, la de ayer sí la subió en la mañana, pero todas las demás estamos al día. 
No, que ah. si se depela, se depela, pero viendo a ver qué. Ay, el mejor. Anyway, sí, Jennifer. El Jennifer, si sí, ahí están, búsquelas, porque ahí está. Busque el, el, okay, en, la, sí. en el correo de inicio, ahí está la, el, la lista que nos toca, nos corresponde a nosotros. Okay, Gracias, nice. teacher, la queremos Thank mucho. You. Yo también lo siento. Bye. Happy weekend. Bye. 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 Bye.